In this session, you will model tapered wood columns and beams for the roof canopy supports. Let's start by toggling on the display of the A station model. This will display the original concept for the canopy, and we can use that as a starting point. Next, make a display set the first support column and canopy shapes. Select the Tapered Column tool. Set the catalog type to Column Timber Post. Set the catalog item to Project Glue Lamb Tapered Post. The section name should already be set for the catalog item. But in order to define the taper, you will need to set a start height and an end height. Set the start height to 8 inches or 200 millimeters, and set the end height to 1 foot 4 or 400 millimeters. With the placement point in the center, the column will taper equally to each side. But if you move the placement point to the center of one side, then the column will be straight on that side and taper entirely to the other side. On the placement ribbon, set the rotation to interactive and the place by method to length at end one. Set the length to 10 feet or three meters. You will initially place the column at the center of the steel column, then move it more precisely into position. Make sure the structural snaps are toggled on and snap to the base of the column. Now you will be able to rotate the column interactively. Data point to define the rotation, and the first column is placed. Place the column again, but first set the rotation back to interactive on the placement ribbon. This time, rotate the column in the opposite direction. Use the Move tool to move each column two and a half inches, or 65 millimeters, away from the center of the column. Next, you will place the tapered wood beams. Select the tapered beam tool. Set the catalog type to beam timber joist and set the catalog item to project glue lamb tapered beam. The section name should already be set for this catalog item. But again, in order to define the taper, you will need to set a start height and an end height. This time, set the start height to 1 foot 4 or 400 millimeters and the end height to 8 inches or 200 millimeters. Set the placement point to the center top of the beam. On the placement ribbon, set the place by method to two points. As you can see, each side of the canopy is at a different angle and will be a different length. So let's start at the left side. Select a start point at the top center edge of the column. The structural snap should easily find this point. To place the second point, move to the side view and use RE to rotate the compass to match the angle of the roof shape. Now use Enter to lock the AccuDraw compass and define a length of 10 feet or 3 meters. And data point to accept. Since the second beam will be shorter, you will change the end height on the taper in order to keep the basic angle of the taper consistent. So change the end height to 10 inches or 250 millimeters. Now place the second beam snapping to the top of the column then rotating the compass to the roof slope and defining a length of 7 foot 6 or 2250 millimeters. You will now miter the joint between the column and the beam. Select the Connect Elements tool from the Modify group. 
select the mitered connection type, and then select the column, then the beam. You have now modeled the tapered columns and beams. But this is still not exactly what is designed in the sketch. You need to create a double set of columns and beams. So we will move these to one face of the steel column and then copy them to the other face of the steel column. Make a selection set of both columns and beams. Use the Move tool to move everything to the face of the plate created earlier. Now use the Copy tool to copy everything to the face of the plate on the opposite side of the column. To complete the tapered columns and beams, you will embed a plate at the mitered connection. Select the Plate tool. Select the quarter inch plate. Set the Place By method to Points, and this time set the Place From to Middle. Now you will place a shape at the center of the beam and column connection using AccuDraw to get all the angles correct. Start at the top center of the column, move to the side view, and use RE to rotate the compass to the beam angle. Define a distance of 1 foot 4 or 400 millimeters, and data point to accept. With the compass still rotated to match the beam, Move your cursor perpendicular to the top of the beam and use Enter to lock this angle. Then type N on the keyboard to set the snap to nearest and move your cursor over the bottom edge of the beam. This will find the intersection of the projected locked angle. Data point to accept. Again, type RE to rotate the compass to match the angle of the bottom edge of the beam. Then use Enter to lock the angle. Now snap to the intersection of the column and beam. Before accepting this point, note the distance in the AccuDraw field. You may want to match this distance with the next input. Rotate the compass to the tapered edge of the column and use the distance noted for the last input. Use S to rotate the compass back to the side orientation with the X and Y axis aligned with the view. Then lock the axis and define the distance by snapping to the straight edge of the column. Complete the plate by snapping back to the start point. The plate is embedded in the middle of the column and beam joint. Now try the other joint on your own. Once both plates are created, copy them to the other column and beam. You have now completed the canopy support assembly. For more detail, you might want to add the bolts that connect the timber to the plates, but that is usually considered to be more detail than is needed in a building model. You can now display off the architectural reference. In this session, you placed tapered beams and columns precisely where you wanted them in the model. Now that one support is finished, you can group the components into an assembly so that it is saved in a library, allowing you to explore other options. In the next session, you will create an assembly Modify this design to create a second alternate assembly, and then place the selected assembly at each column location. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.